G'day legends and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while, but as you know, traveling around Australia doesn't come for free. So we've been parked up for a little bit and I've been going to work, um, building up the funds. And uh, while we're here, I thought I would uh, run through a few things to do with our water tanks. Um, so in one of the water tanks, the uh, gray water tank has had a putrid smell coming out of it. And it's saying that it's half full. And just want to run through some tips and tricks of our water tanks that we've got for our drinking water and casual water that uh, I do while we've been parked up for a long period of time. Come along and uh, see if you learn anything from these little tips that I've got. And if you've got anything to teach me, drop it in the comments. So first up, I just want to talk about hoses, connections, and where we store them. So when we first started traveling, I uh, started off with the blue hose, um, drinking water hose. Uh, doesn't get a bad taste in it like the green hoses do. And we brought a 10 meter hose, uh, we brought a filter, and that's all we had. Now, along our journeys, we found that 10 meter hose sometimes just doesn't cut it. So now I have got a 10 meter hose and um, that has since been cut and I'll show you why. And I've got a 20 meter hose. Now the 20 meter hose can also be joined to that 10 meter hose to make a 30 meter hose. Cause in some spots, it's a lot easier to join a lot, a lot of hoses together and fill up your caravan rather than having to move your caravan over to the um, tap. So there's one little tip for you. Two hoses, one 20, one 10. Most of the time I use a 10, but on the odd occasion, I have to use a 20 because a 10 doesn't even reach to the caravan park um, tap either. So there you go. So I store my 20 meter hose in the hose bag. Um, not sponsored by them. I brought them from the Perth caravanning um, show way back when. Um, thought it was a great idea. The hose coils up inside the bag and it's nice and neat, not messy inside, the, uh, inside your boxes. So that's my 20 meter hose. It's got um, the ends on it to plug in. So it's got one end on each end um, so that it can connect. And I also keep these so they can join my hoses together. Um, so I've got two of them and the other one is right here. So this little hose that I've got is from my 10 meter hose that is being cut. And I use that to put into my tanks and uh, fill all my water tanks in. So I don't have to go out and buy a new contraption that's out there. Um, I made this one myself with the fitting and a little bit of hose, go straight in and it works just fine. Um, this one is a big, bigger of one of the uh, hose bags and that stores my discard hose. So my black, uh, black hose, um, that all curls up in there, keeps that nice and neat and doesn't get all um, messy inside the, inside the box of the caravan. Uh, a couple of bits and pieces that I carry for sure um, is a double adapter. Sometimes you get to a caravan park and there's only one tap and there's two caravans feeding off it and nobody supplies these. So I always keep these or um, if I need to wash the boat down, I can connect that into the um, tap, have one going out to my caravan and the other one I can just use to uh, wash the boat down if I need to. And of course, lots of these. Uh, nothing worse than when you get to your next site and you realise that you left that one on the uh, on the carav on the at the caravan park that you were last at. So we have three 100 litre tanks underneath our caravan dedicated to uh, just general use of water, so shower, dishes, um, toilet, um, stuff like that. And we've got one 50 litre tank which is des designated straight to drinking water. Now that one has two filters. So the one that I put in on the uh, blue hose and then underneath the sink, there's another little filter under there that's uh, filtered through your uh, drinking water, which makes the difference if you ask me. So I thought I'd just run through a few little tips for you as well. Um, why have we been parked up? So we've been parked up for uh, nearly ooh, seven weeks now. And what I do with my water tanks is either keep them completely empty or completely full. Now, another thing that I've been doing is filling them right up. And then whenever we use the washing machine, I flick the, uh, the mains water off 
and just have the tank water from the caravan. The pumps are being used, the tank's being used, it empties, it fills, it empties, it fills. Keeps that water flushing through like as though we're traveling full time. Um, it's a great idea to keep your tanks nice and fresh. So don't leave them half full because once air's in there, bacteria can get in there and stuff like that. So either full or 100% completely empty or as I do, just fill them up once a week and slowly use them throughout the week with the washing machine. When all three tanks are empty, I fill them back up and we go again with uh, draining them back down with the washing machine. Just, just keeps it nice and fresh. And when we hit the road in hopefully two weeks, two weeks worth of work left, um, then yeah, we're going to, uh, the water will be fresh and we don't have to put any chemicals in there to wash it out and stuff like that. All right, so some of those chemicals that you can use to clean your water tanks is this Kamek Tank Clean one. Um, again, not sponsored by anybody. It's, we've just gone to the shop and we've brought it. So if you have uh, dirty water or you've um, put bore water or your water been sitting there for too long, um, what you can do is empty all your water out. The instructions are all here. So you empty all your water out, um, put some um, powder in, into a uh, bucket full of hot water, make sure it's all dissolved, and then pour solution into the tanks and uh, fill up with mains water. Um, then draw the solution into the system and leave to soak for um, five minutes and then flush all the tanks out with that and that should clean all your water tanks. So if you have any problems with water tanks, that's what you can use. We've got a bad smell coming out of our grey tank and the gauge is actually showing that it's always half full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the uh, bash guards off. I'm going to undo the big valve, the ball valve that stops it from flowing and unflowing and uh, see what the hell's in there causing this problem. So I'll show you what I do. I'm under the caravan and uh, I've already removed a couple of the, um, what are they called? These things. I've got a mental blank. Um, anyway, I've already removed a couple of them to get the bash guard off. Uh, I just got to remove the last one, then I can pull that down and pull this thing off and uh, have a look inside. Alright, so there she is. Uh, she's all pulled off. Um, so as you can see, it's not a very big grey water tank that we've got. It is only tiny. Um, but yeah, it uh, guards off. Let's pull this valve here off and uh, have a look inside here. All right, so I've just got that valve off and it's actually quite rank. Um, it's all hair and I don't even know what, but it's obviously causing a big blockage, so I'll show you inside it. It's not nice, if you don't want to look at it, just look away. But um, yeah, I've got this valve off, so that's gone. Um, I'll re-thread tape all of that to put it back on, but check this out. That's disgusting. that's just sitting behind us just there and um, I'm gonna stick that in there and hose out as much as I can to uh, get rid of this mess like this is the stuff that I've just pulled out it is utterly disgusting it's just all the girls hair and yeah uh, makes me want to vomit I haven't got a good stomach for this sort of stuff.
the smell is rotten. Can you go and move all the shoes and stuff off? Radio. So tank number five, I don't know if you can see that, but it always showed half full. And now we've got it down to a quarter full. Um, so a little bit more cleaning to go, but you can see the crap coming out of this gray water tank and we never ever close it. It's not once ever been closed. Um, so how this build ups happened, I got no idea. Hair, the girl's hair. No, but it's also because we've been it's also because we've been living like on the beach for the last three months and the sand like when everyone's having a shower the sand just builds up in there that's why we have an outdoor shower well we don't ever use it do we wow. oh wet me i just want to show you quickly so over the week i bought that stuff and i've put it down the drains to try and help eliminate the smell and try and help dissolve all the um, gunk that's in the grey water tank and I think that's why it's coming out so chunky because you can sort of see like the whitey acidy bits coming out in the chunks of hair so it's obviously breaking all up rather than breaking up the clump and making it um, yeah that's why it's all coming out now so. So can you see all that white stuff? I reckon that's from those tablets. Man, there is just full of hair. Hair? Yeah. I think that's just about it, to be honest with you. Pretty damn clean actually. And then I'll check the app and then I'll put all the stuff back together. And then happy days, no more stink, no more half tank. Alright, it's getting serious, the top's come off, it's soaking wet. Um, I've got my head torch. I'm gonna go check inside the tank to see if I can see anything else after the final clean. And then um, We'll screw it all back on and fingers crossed that's what fixes it. All right, so she's back on. Um, I'll just bolt the guard back up. That's job done. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't a nice job. Had to be done though, someone's got to do it. Well, it's all put back together. The bash guard's not on yet. Um, we've just filled the tank up to make sure there's no leaks because that's the last thing we want. So I've turned the valve off and it is saying that it's three quarters full. So you can see tank number five, three quarters full. And I'll just go and check to see there's no leaks. All right, so as you can see, the valve is back on, it's turned off. We've got a slight leak, which I'm not too concerned about. Uh, turn that one on. 
and now the waters rushing out of into the black hose and we will see what brings us hopefully it drains all out and we're all apples all right so she's gone down to half now it's a quarter and look at that 100% completely empty all right that's all done uh, if you got any tips on how to keep that grey water tank clean drop them in the comments let me know because that was disgusting and I really don't want to do that too many times in my life so yeah hope you got something out of that grey water tank disgusting it's full of um, yeah, that was how to clean it. Not nice. Cheers, guys. Ew. Well, that was a real short episode of some tips and tricks of your water tanks, cleaning out your uh, grey water tank, and making sure that uh, all your pumps and everything works just fine when you hit the road again. So parking up for a long time, it can put your tanks into a bad state. So hopefully some tips there for you. And if you've got any for me, please drop them in the comments. Um, I'm here to learn. I don't know everything I don't claim to. And so yeah, if you've got any great tips on keeping your water tanks fresh, keeping your gray water tank clean, drop them in, let us know. Thanks for watching guys. Eww. See ya.